Democratic Senator Joe Manchin went on CNN. Now, this guy is a blue dog Democrat, which means he's openly one of the most conservative Democrats in the country. Typically, blue dogs come from Republican states. So they're Democrats within Republican states. So what they do is they run like Republicans. They're basically Republicans with the title Democrat. And um, you're going to see that. That comes through here. So he spoke about the issue of opioid addiction and drugs. And he gave what I think might legitimately be the dumbest quote of 2016. What do you want President-elect Trump to, to do about this problem, sir? Well, we need to declare, declare a war on drugs, on illicit drugs. Yeah. If only somebody had did that, say, 30 or 40 years ago, maybe the problem would be solved. Come on, man. Come on. You can't be that stupid. You cannot be that stupid. The war on drugs has been an unmitigated disaster. We've been doing it. It led to the current problems. So we spent over a trillion dollars in the war on drugs. What did it get us? People are using drugs just as much as they were before the war on drugs. In fact, according to, to uh, some, it's actually gotten worse. So maybe more people are using drugs and we just flushed a trillion dollars down the toilet. By the way, tens of thousands of people have died in a literal war. Because there is a literal drug war going on. The Mexican drug cartels, people were saying, they have now become mega cartels. So there were, like, fights between the Mexican government, Mexican authorities, and mega cartels. Turns out when you ban a substance, when you do prohibition, criminal gangs get much more powerful. That's exactly what happened with prohibition of alcohol. So we banned alcohol, and then the mafia got massively powerful. Because you gave them a monopoly. You gave them the entire market. So then they're the ones who are reaping all the rewards. And then whenever there are disputes and it's on the black market, you solve it with guns and murder and crime. Now, if it was legal, that wouldn't be the case. If it was legal, you go to court with suits and ties and you figure out uh, how to resolve your issues. So notice when we legalized alcohol, crime in relation to alcohol dropped massively. Well, it's the same thing with drugs. If you were to legalize tax and regulate drugs, regulate them, yes, regulate, well, what would happen? You'd have a massive decrease in crime. There's no doubt about it. But, I mean, think about that. People have died, tens of thousands of people have died as a result of this war on drugs. Crime has increased as a result of this war on drugs. We wasted over a trillion dollars, and we now know, based on uh, information that's released that what they were talking about behind the scenes when they implemented the war on drugs. Nixon admitted, he's like, uh, yeah, we're doing this to crack down on the white hippies and the blacks and the minorities. Those are not demographics that are ever going to favor our, ideal, uh, our ideas, so we got to find a way to victimize them and, uh, you know, control them. So ban what they do. What do they do? I don't know. They do LSD. They do, uh, they do smoke weed. and All right, banned. Banned. Let's do this war on drugs. Ugh. Again, this is now admitted. This is now admitted. We have the quotes. These are facts. So, but this guy... It, drugs are bad, okay? Like Mr. Uh, Mackey from South Park. Drugs are bad, okay? And uh, we need, like, a war on drugs, okay? We've been doing it. It's led to the problems that you're seeing right now. Um, if you legalize tax and regulate, by the way, you know what you can do. When you regulate, that doesn't mean wild, wild west, you can get whatever you want at any time for any reason. No, if you legalize tax and regulate, you can actually regulate out of existence the worst versions of the different substances. So what, usually when I say, hey, I want to legalize drugs, people go, oh yeah, Kyle, crystal meth, you want to legalize crystal meth? Actually, no, I don't. Because if you legalize drugs, crystal meth, you could say, hey, look, the way that that's made with the additives in there, that's the problem. Fucking people's teeth are rotting out of their mouths and you got all these social ills that are tied to it. I get that. But if you legalize other versions of amphetamines that are more mild amphetamines that aren't cut with the disgusting shit, well, then people could get that high without having to have, you know, all the teeth problems and the blisters on their face and the issues. So, and again, there's historical precedent for this. 
And this is the case, think of Crocodile, another one. People go, oh, really? Gonna legalize Crocodile? Crocodile's like the poor man's heroin. But it, it, the way it's made, it makes your fucking skin rot off. Literally. People start taking Crocodile, they die within a year or two. So if you had legalized uh, opioids, milder opioids, and, you know, make them available, and regulate them to make sure they're safe and not cut with grotesque shit, well, then people would get their fix that way. And I'm not saying, it's not a total cure-all and that nobody will ever be addicted again. Of course, of course people will get addicted. But that's what leads to the main point here. The answer isn't war on drugs, be punitive, throw, lock people up and throw away the key if they're doing drugs or if they're caught with drugs or if they're selling drugs. The answer is for the people who are genuinely addicted, rehab. Rehab, dipshit. Treat it like a medical problem. I mean, these guys are, oh my god, the opioid crisis, the, you know, we have this addiction issue. Right! So treat it like the medical problem it is. But they don't. He's, oh yeah, no, war on drugs. People with guns, that'll solve this. That's always the answer in the U.S. More guns, more people with more guns, and then everything will be good. Except we've been doing that for decades, and it's worse. It brought us to where we are right now. Get your head out of your ass. Stop being ignorant and look at actual solutions.